the Long Island Railroad. You know, we have such a good thing going on, Dwight Bell, work-wise. I don't think we should rush into anything too quickly. You know what I mean? Yeah. So let's just well, let's follow these new feelings we have for each other and slowly see where they take us. Okay? Okay. But slowly. Okay? Okay. With no pressure. Okay. Well, and no rules. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Except that we're going to take things slowly. <laughs> Gilda, can I remind you that we're on a train to my parents' house? Not the south of France, not Plato's retreat, my parents' house? I can't imagine a slower start to a relationship, but if it makes you feel better, I'd be more than happy to go back to Penn Station and check my penis into a locker. <laughs> okay, I'll change the subject. Well, well, what else should I know about your family? Well, uh, my dad manufactures jewelry, and for some reason, my mother, she says, Port of Authority. <laughs> you mean where the buses live? It's baffled us for years. You know, then again, my grandmother, she used to ask for a glass iced tea, please. So <laughs> maybe this is my mother's way of giving back. Oh, God, Mr. Carlton. What, who? That guy, come up the aisle. I hate him. Why do you hate Richard Carlton? Because he's a schmuck. You know, he kept bugging me in high school, and then when I moved back in with my parents, after college, well, he made fun of me because well, I wasn't making any money as a writer, and well, he had his own apartment because he had a job at a stupid bank. Well, he made fun of you? That son of a bitch. I hate him. Well, so do I. Kiss me. W what? You heard me. We'll show that bastard. Kiss me. What? Like this? Oh, hey! You kiss pretty good! Well, I'm a man. Oh, hello, Richard. <laughs>